Kia ora, I'm Celestial Serpin and today I'm here with Elwyn Doolan from Message Stick Walk. Now, we were up at about 4 o'clock this morning and that's this, this brother's regular routine for this walkabout. Now he's done about 4,500 kilometres over the course of about 8 months and we're about to find out why. Hey my name is Alan Doolan. I'm a Gurang Gurang Waka Waka man from Queensland. I'm here on currently on, on a journey called the Message Stick Walk. Uh, so I've walked from Bamaga, the tip of Queensland, all the way to about 40 kilometres south of Tamworth just so far. And uh, I'm walking all the way to Canberra. And uh, this Message Stick Walk is all a part of the inclusiveness of raising awareness of reconciliation and taking all upon messages from each community and uh, sovereign nation to the Australian government upon treaty negotiations with First Nations people. My culture to me means a great deal of importance of survival. Um, not only for myself, but for my, my family, my community, and for the next generation to come for, such as my, uh, my children, my next of kin. So, and it's also the importance of of our identity, of who we are. Our culture um, lets us know and our dealings and practices of our, of our traditions and um, without it then uh, we are lost people. So holding on to that value custom of uh, culture is uh, very, very important. I'm making my way to uh, Canberra down at ACT uh, to formally submit I noticed to the Australian Government upon treaty negotiations with First Nations people upon how we move forward in our nation of healing with First Nations people and non-First Nations people. Uh, this notice will include a submission of tribal law. So this is an LOR e-law uh, which has been here for 80,000 plus years to the time of the mole prior to colonisation. And <coughs> it's the ongoing uh, dispossession that's been uh, displaced here uh, since then that uh, the endearment must be upheld for the preservation of, of, of the law and that comes with sustainability of looking after the land, caring after the country and caring after the people of it and that's us as the sovereign people of this, uh, of this country. After meeting Elwyn Doolan at the auspicious site of the First Fleet Memorial Park in Wallabada, we decided to walk with Elwyn for a few days in order to document a small slither of his momentous journey. As stated earlier, this would entail waking up early each morning in order to get in a few k's before the heat of the day settled in. Keep in mind that it gets over 50 degrees on the asphalt or tarmac roads of the arid inland Australia. During Elwyn's journey walking these roads, he had gone through five pairs of shoes. I've lost just over an inch of the bottom of it from the amount of walking I've been doing and getting me up uh, many ranges. Many elements had inspired this walk, but in essence, it was about change. It also comes from having a personal experience of a, a self-identity crisis in my own um, self. So I'm living away from my community up in central Queensland, a little Aboriginal mission reserve called um, Warbinda. And I lived away from it and I got caught in this trapment of a system of LAW law and that was a total different world to what I grew up in. And I thought it was a privilege to be an adaptive into this world and I got caught into the cycle of drugs and alcohol and pulling myself out of that system and moving back home to my family and to my community and finding out my, um, my connections and culture really bring forth and awoken my spirit and then seeing the, the kind of close to home effects of my uh, nieces and nephews and uh, fellow cousins that are uh, still in that trapment of that system and 
I thought, what can I do to inspire my people and inspire my family and give them hope of, of inspiration to, uh, to make a positive change for themselves and their community. And um, that's when I, I committed my mind and uh, committed my, my spirit uh, to the messistic walk of, of just pulling out hopefulness and bringing love and kind and care and to the basis of humanity. And, and that's how it pretty much all came about with this uh, messistic walk and, and continuing on to raise that awareness of that our society is still not okay um, since 230 years ago but you know as horrific as history is um, there's a history before that that comes with a wealth full of knowledge and culture and people that are willing to share that with non-First Nations people if we have the right attitude and connection um, in the education uh, into our into our healing to move forward together. Just outside of uh, Musselbrook here now, and um, as I was coming in, I could just feel the ambience of the of how sick the country is. And it was quite an overwhelming feeling that really overtook my own spirit and my own emotion that started to bring tears to my eyes of just how, how important nature is and its reserves of our culture and how connected we are to our land. Although Alwyn walked much of his journey alone, carrying his bag on his back, when we met him he had acquired a volunteer road safety officer who took Alwyn's pack and his vehicle, driving ahead and providing water every few kilometres. It seemed that many people were passionate to support this important cause. Unlike a war where you have a beginning to the war and then at the end you have a uh, signing of documents that says, wrote, this is over, Who's the, who, who are the vanquished and who is the conqueror? None of that happened. And uh, although thousands, if not hundreds of thousands, were destroyed, were killed in massacres and by diseases that they had no resistance to, we have a situation now where those survivors have never had the finalisation of that, that process. And so I think a treaty is only just something that is just and deserving and uh, should have it. So I'm 100% I'm behind it. And, and as, as, a, as a white person whose actual forebears didn't, as far as I know, take part in those tragedies and those, those uh, massacres and that, I still feel the shame that my race could have done that to another human being. And I love the concept that our one has that we are all human beings and uh, we should all get along. And we should have a society that reflects that. We have a multicultural society, we reflect everybody else, we, we accept everybody else from overseas, but we don't accept properly, completely, our own Indigenous people. That's how I feel, and I feel very strongly about it. The sheer size of this continent seemed to be a suitable parallel to the size of Elwyn's goal. journey for quite some time now and we're just pleased that he's coming down through our area and covering all areas for all the mob and it's just amazing what he's doing. My personal view on it, I'd like to see um, the whole thing just take off and the politicians listen when he gets to Canberra. It's just got to, it's got to happen no matter who the Prime Minister or whatever, um, state, federal, it's just got to happen that we get some recognition and hopefully with Owen's journey that we will. Owen's doing an amazing job, we're extremely proud and we hope that all community, all mob come out and support him along his journey to show recognition of everything that he's trying to do for us all. We hope everyone comes to um, Canberra when he arrives and supports him in getting all of our voices across. It was a great privilege to witness Elwyn Doolan connect with some of the mob on his journey, uniting them in their common struggle to see the sovereignty that they lawfully now deserve. Now flourish 
and so upon kind of uniting each country that I go through and then sitting down like this and engaging and getting across messages and, and talks across of what's happening in, in the community and then also sharing that upon with the neighbouring countrymen so that they understand that these mob up here, instead of having this divisive conquerness about us between ourselves, that acknowledging that we are still facing a source of oppression here, that by our self-determination and self-governance of, of making our decisions for our own people, or having someone that actually represents us. The Eurocentric history that we are taught in our schools glorifies the industrious feats of Europeans and their global conquest, but it doesn't seem to speak the bloody reality of the imperial invasion and its genocidal damage to original people and their culture. Many people of this land feel misrepresented by the interests of a government founded on terra nullius fraud and philosophies of white supremacy. It's time that we stand up for what's just and address the perpetuating wounds of colonisation in Australia. Yeah, well, uh, with Alwyn, uh, I've, I've got a firm belief that this man is a... Uh, is, uh, a great spokesman for his people, but there's a power greater than me and greater than Alwyn, greater than most of us around, that uh, is, is working on this and that he has just been put in the right place at the right time and that something special is going to happen. I, can, I feel history is going to be made with this young man. And I quote, the messy stick walk is not about me, it's about us coming uh, together, being united. By the time when I get to Canberra, that I hopefully inflicted enough inspiration onto you, Mob, that you will get to Canberra during that time and walk in with me upon thousands of people um, to make a change, to make a difference and let our voices be heard and that way that the um, government will have no choice to respond to it.